Hey there, guys! Uh, Chandler, uh, Smef Vlogs here, guys. Welcome back uh, to another video. Get the camera on a tripod. And uh, it's more of a uh, sit down and talk video. I wanted to share my experiences uh, dealing with COVID. You know, not just dealing with COVID, but also in the long term. You know, the effects that COVID had on my mental health. Um, so. This is my experience, and uh, I had to like look back at my uh, old videos and just kind of like, oh, remember this, remember that, you know. Um, so I will. Uh, I have my uh, my phone. I uh, I wrote down like notes so that um, I keep the video like, you know, simple, you know, one topic at a time. So. Um, We'll be talking about my mental health uh, before COVID, and then we'll talk about my first time getting COVID, which was in December at the end of the year of 2019 when COVID just happened. Um, so uh, before we get into today's video, I seriously need to thank you guys uh, for uh, the current subscribers, which it was uh, 616 subscribers before I started like promoting my YouTube channel and like when I promoted my channel I went from 616 subscribers like people 616 people to 1016 people and um Yes, it's a lot of people. I just, I just, I just wanted to say um, thank you for um, subscribing to my channel, liking the videos, supporting the channel, taking your time out of your day, your night, your time to watch me, my videos. Like, I'm so passionate about this. I love holding the camera, vlogging, and sharing my experiences with you guys over the years. Uh, this is something I'm passionate about, and um, your support, you know, your love, and you guys liking the videos, and subscribing, and, you know, being so kind to me, it, it means so much. And uh, I want you guys to know I value every single one of you it doesn't matter how long you've been subscribed. If you subscribe today, or if you, if you haven't subscribed yet, it's okay. I love you, and um, thank you so much. And um, it means a lot. Your support really means a lot. It keeps me going, and um, it makes me feel motivated to make more videos. And um, thank you. So, uh, I, I just, I needed to do that. Um, I needed to say that to you guys. I want you guys to feel appreciated and loved, and I want you to feel valued, you know? Um, it doesn't matter how long you've been subscribed, and of course, I appreciate, you know, the ones that have stuck with me over the years, and, um, but it's important to, you know, express that I value every single one of you individually, every single one of you, the same way. I feel the same way for every single one of you. And that's important. I want to make sure that I say that. All right, so um, now we'll talk about my experience uh, dealing with COVID and in the long term. I have a lot of experiences uh, dealing with COVID and um, these experiences are scary. It can be traumatizing and um, yeah COVID it, it really it really messed up my health a lot. Um, so before we get into all the whole COVID stuff I wanted to talk about my mental health before COVID and yeah um so 
how was my mental health uh, before COVID? So my mental health uh, before COVID, I was just, I was just living life. I was a normal person. And uh, my, uh, my bi biological father, uh, he actually had uh, seizures. That was something that he had. And um, yeah, um, he just had it, you know. And uh, he actually, uh, it was actually his first day uh, going to work, you know. Um, of course, I was like three years old at the time, probably four years old or something like that. I was really young. Um, the only, the only remem memory, memory that I had with him was, I remember he was like throwing me up in the air in my bedroom. <laughs> and um, he actually like, uh, hit, I, I actually, when he threw me up, I actually hit my head. And uh, he was concerned. <laughs> he actually called the fire department, and uh, the fire department came here and checked on me. And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm good." You know, he was just—he was so scared, like you know, um, I'm his baby. You know, um, I mean a lot to him, and um, yeah, he was scared. Um, luckily, I was okay. Um, he wasn't trying to hurt me or anything. I knew that, um, but. Um, yeah, he was just, he was concerned. Um, luckily I was okay. Um, but yeah, his first day, like, going to his job, um, he actually, uh, he was on the highway and, uh, he had a seizure and, uh, he actually passed away, uh, like, like after, like, having a wreck, like he had a wreck, uh, having a seizure on the highway. Um, I think he passed away either, like, when the wreck happened or at the hospital. Um, I'm not sure exactly how, like, when he passed away. I, I know, like, how he passed away, but I don't know exactly when. It was either after the, the wreck or at the hospital. Um, so, yeah, so... With him having seizures, it passed on to me. It also passed on to my sister. So that's why I'm telling you guys this because that's important. So did I have seizures? Yes. Um, I actually had uh, a seizure at my middle school. Um, so not sure exactly which one was first. I think this one, the one I'm about to tell you guys was first. So I was in my math class. Uh, the teacher, the math teacher was, uh, you know, teaching us. Um, of course, <laughs> she's a teacher, right? <laughs> um, basically, I, I just kind of like zoned out and uh, I just like, like that, you know, um, I wasn't able to like control it. Um, I just like my body like just like that and uh, I just like flipped backwards uh, my desk you know and myself uh, I just pushed myself backwards and uh, I think I hit the back of my head um, and uh, I, I believe it was a seizure I was unconscious and uh, the teacher actually thought I was joking because I would uh, always joke around and play around and I was actually surprised that she actually thought that was a joke why would I uh, intentionally hurt myself um, but um, she she uh, genuinely uh, thought that I was uh, joking um, and then she realized that I wasn't joking uh, she uh, saw me unconscious and um, saw that I wasn't responding to her and uh, she pressed the, uh, the emergency button. There's an emergency button in the classroom. Like nowadays, like classrooms have that. Um, so even back then they have it. Um, so she presses the button and uh, the intercom says, hey, uh, what's the emergency? What's going on? And the teacher uh, tells uh, the intercom lady or um, basically, I have a student that, uh, like, I don't know what happened. Like, he just, like, like, flipped backwards, like, 
in his desk and uh, he's on the ground like unconscious um, so uh, she tells the intercom lady that and then uh, some people uh, come to the classroom and yeah like I was embarrassed in that moment because like there's not that many students in the room because we were in a small class because you know it's I was in special ed um you know um I had ADHD I couldn't remember things that good like I had ADHD um I couldn't I had I had a learning disability that's what I'm trying to say um so this special education teacher would take us out of the main class you know and we would uh, finish our assignments with the special education teacher um, because of our special education you know we had ADHD you know or we had this we had that you know um, so it was a way of making it fair for us um, so um, but yeah uh, people came to the classroom and uh, I was just confused I was like that was weird like I didn't even con I didn't even control that I just like went backwards and uh, fell backwards um, so it was, it was scary um, I told him I don't know I don't know why I don't know how I don't know I, I don't understand it um, I was young back then too you know it was middle school so um, that happened um, and then this other experience that I had was in middle school of course I was in math class uh, but not with the uh, special education teacher uh, I was in the main class and uh, there's a lot of students in there you know um, so uh, I guess I just kind of like did the same thing where I just kind of like zone out and then I just kind of like I fell out of my chair out of my desk um, it wasn't a desk I think it was a, I think it was just a table um, so I just fell out of the uh, chair and uh, I passed out and then I would wake up and I saw the teacher like looking at me um, and then I told her I was okay um, and then it happened again um, and she asked me if I'm okay and I think it happened again after that um, this was so long ago like um, of course like I do remember it um, but I just remember it like happened again it happened one time and then it happened again and then I think it happened again and then like I think she was concerned and uh, she sent me to the nurse she made sure like uh, I think she sent like a, a student to go with me to take me to the nurse just to make sure that like I wouldn't like pass out or you know have a seizure on the way to the nurse um, so that was that was kind of her to do that um, yeah so um, so there's two experiences right there, uh, dealing with seizures. Um, it was, it was very rare for me to have a seizure back then, uh, since I was younger and, um, yeah. Um, so I do have a background of having seizures. Um, you know, for, for a while I actually just like forgot about these, um, these two, um, seizures that I had um, I thought that COVID was the reason why I had seizures but with the background of my dad um, having you know diagnosed with seizures you know he had seizures and he actually passed away due to seizures it just passed on on me and my sister and now we have to take uh, medication for it and yeah um, so there you go I have the background of uh, seizures and um, all right, so my mental health, other than that, like, I'm good. Like, um, I didn't have anxiety. I didn't, I, like, I wouldn't get stressed all the time. Like, I was just living life, you know. I was happy and just normal, other than those two times. Um, so, um, 
So, uh, moving on. Uh, so December of 2019, uh, this is when COVID just started. Uh, I was actually out uh, helping out a uh, roommate that lives here. Um, he still lives here. Um, he's been here a long time. Um, I was helping him out. Uh, he was uh, moving like like his his belongings out of a, uh, a truck. I had to help him. I didn't have to. He just asked me to. And I just agreed to it. And uh, I helped him load up the truck. I helped him unload it. And um, he had like his own like rented his own like uh, garage or something like that. And we, I, we had to unload it. And, uh, you know, it was exhausting. It was tiring. Um, but uh, when we were done for the day, it was like nighttime. And this was, of course, around December uh, 2019 uh, when COVID happened. And uh, we were done for the night. And uh, I just, like, towards the end of the day, I just kind of, like, felt off. I felt sick. Um, so when I got home, uh, I actually was laying down. And I, I just started having, like, this bad, bad uh, fever. It was actually, uh, I, would, I would say it was the worst fever I've ever had in my lifetime. It was so painful that I was just laying down in my room. I was banging my head against the wall. Like it was so painful. I just wanted to end my misery, like not suicide or anything, but, um, it was just, it was just so bad. Um, you know, I, I was trying to figure out like my mom wasn't home either. So like, I didn't have a way of like taking, you know, meds or anything like a uh, pain reliever or something, you know, to get rid of that pain in my head, that, um, fever. And I also, I, I, I threw up as well that night. Um, it was a, it was a terrible night. It was terrifying. Um, and, uh, I was like, man, I, I must have COVID or something, bro. Um, I was terrified, um, dealing with that night, um, dealing with it. Um, yeah, so the roommate actually hears me banging my head. Um, he's like, "You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hurt yourself." Um, I told him, "I need, I need. Um, I'm going through so much pain. I need." Um, he asked me if I needed. Uh, uh, he didn't even question it. He just gave me um, pain reliever, um, like two of them or something like that. Um, and I took it, and I felt better afterwards. Um, so that happened, so that was like, like my first taste of COVID, uh, like the first time I've ever dealt with it. Um, so like I said, I had to like look back at videos and, um, try to remember everything. Like I didn't record that, like that was off camera. Um, but uh, I remember, I didn't forget. <laughs> But yeah, we talked about my mental health before COVID, and then we, we also talked about, like, uh, my father. You know, he had COVID, and he had, um, you know, seizures. So that, you know, made my sister have it. Um, and then we just talked about my first experience uh, with uh, COVID, um, getting it for the first time. Um, And then we also talked about my uh, first seizure, my, my second seizure there uh, in middle school. We talked about that. All right. And then we talked about what, what I just said uh, with COVID, my, my first experience with it. All right. So um, I got my, uh, my first COVID shot uh, vaccine. Like uh, we went to Kroger, uh, me, my girlfriend at the time, her mom, my mom, we were at Kroger here in Georgia, and um, that's when the vaccines first came out. Um, we wanted to get that. Um, it was kind of like a life or death situation, I guess. I guess we're just so terrified of COVID. Um, a lot of, you know, reports of people dying from this disease, or not disease, but, you know, I guess it could be considered a disease. I don't know. Um, it's just terrifying. Um, so, um, yeah, I got my uh, vaccine, and then the next day, um, 
I knew that there was a risk of having side effects, you know, um, I had to sign, um, that I consent, that I understand that I'm taking a risk of side effects, and I signed it, and uh, they gave me my shot, and then the next day, uh, we were actually, like, virtual, um, at this time, um, I think, yeah, yeah, we were virtual, um, I know we were, because I was in the kitchen, and I remember this clearly, um, I was in my, uh, it was lit, uh, language arts class, um, with my special education teacher, um, uh, there's probably, like, maybe five, six students, including myself, in that classroom, um, so, yeah, I, I just, like, zoned out, and, uh, I mean, this could be related to the vaccine, a side effect from that, or it could be, you know, related to the seizures that passed on to me and my sister. Um, so it could have just been another seizure, or it could have been a side effect due to the uh, vaccine. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's three different, like, scenarios that it could have been, you know, it could have been a seizure, it could have been, um, you know, the vaccine, it could have been, I could have been dehydrated or something, you know? Um, back then, though, I thought it was a side effect, um, but now, how do I feel about it now? Like, I feel like it was either a side effect or a seizure. I think it was either a side effect or a seizure. Um, the fact that it happened the next day, like, ironically, after the vaccine, I mean, it's, it's highly, highly uh, possible that it was a, a side effect. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, but basically, um, I zoned out, and um, I just, I hit my head on the kitchen floor. And uh, I was unconscious. Uh, I don't know how long. It might have been 10 minutes. It might have been 5 minutes. And when I woke up, I was just confused. Um, I was like, why am I on the floor <laughs> in the kitchen? Um, and then I, I, I didn't feel the pain because I was unconscious. Um, actually, I did, I did feel it for a second. Uh, when I hit the ground, I felt it. But uh, I only felt it for a second. Um, it hurt. Um, and then I was unconscious. Um, I think I did, I did try to call for my mom, but she was working in her room at the moment. Like, she was working in there. I was like, Mom! But she didn't hear me. Um, and then I was unconscious. And then I woke up conscious. And, uh, I was like, looking around my surrounding, I'm, I'm like, bro, what happened? Why am I on the floor? I'm trying to remember, like, what was I doing? Why, why am I on the ground? And then I, I, uh, I see my, uh, my, my school laptop. It was on, and the, uh, the class meeting, like, the class, the, the, the class was over with. Um, the, you know, I was like, oh, I start to remember. I was like, oh, it starts to clear up. I was like, oh, I just, I just passed out, or I had a seizure, or, you know, um, uh, experience deal with you know, the, um, the vaccine the day before, it could be a side effect. Um, and then I sent an email over to my teacher. I explained, uh, what happened. Um, so, um, I told her like, I wasn't, you know, it wasn't me like not paying attention in class. It was just, I, uh, had a, either a side effect or I just passed out or I had a seizure or something. Um, so I made sure to clear that up with her. Um, I also did get a, uh, booster, uh, for COVID. Um, you know, I think it, like, helps you to, like, prevent the chances of getting COVID or something like that. Um, a higher chance, the less chance, a less chance of getting COVID. Um, so I did get that. Um, like, three years ago, I actually had to go to the hospital because I was dealing with so much stress. Um, I was just getting dehydrated like crazy i just no matter no matter how much pedialyte or power rate or electrolytes that i drink no matter how much water i drink 
it's like it's not enough I was just I was just dealing with so much stress at that time um, my heart would just like you know beat really fast and uh, I would feel like I'm gonna faint or you know or yeah I'll get dizzy I'll get dizzy and uh, I just I was just dealing with so much stress um, but yeah, I was at the uh, Dollar Tree and I just felt like I was going to faint or I was just getting dizzy and different things. And uh, I went to the bathroom at Dollar Tree. I was with my girlfriend that day and her mom. They were just shopping and I was with them. And uh, I was just, I was going to stay with them, you know. Um, you know, it might have been Friday. It might have been Saturday. I know it was one of the two um, because I was going to school back then. Um, so... Or, or it was during the summer, you know, it could have been during the summer uh, when it happened. Um, I'm not sure when, but uh, yeah, that happened. And um, I uh, explained to the doctor, like, I, I, I drink so much Powerade. I drink so much water. And it's just like, no matter what I do, it's like I get this feeling like, you know, my heart's, you know, beating really fast. And it's kind of like I'm having panic attacks. Um, it's just scary you know you feel like you're gonna faint or you're gonna have a seizure or something like I, I just didn't know what was wrong with me you know I was just scared I was like man I just want to feel normal man I just want to spend time with my girlfriend I don't want to worry about all this you know and it's just frustrating that we have to go all the way to Atlanta to go to the hospital um, so I was just tearing up I was just emotional um, and I did record some of that too um, it was it was scary, man. It was it was just horrible time, horrible time. They yeah uh, they did put like fluids like in my arms, like they, they like hooked me up in a machine and uh, yeah um, put like water and you know try to hydrate me. Um, they just told me that I was dehydrated. Um, yeah, um, but yeah. Um, I also tried to go to the fair in 2021. Uh, I just couldn't do it because, like, I was just dealing with so much stress, anxiety. I just didn't. I just had the fear of like having a seizure. I just didn't want to be embarrassed. I didn't want to have like a whole entire ambulance coming to get me or something, you know. Um, but I tried to go to the fair, but I just couldn't do it um, that year. It was it was embarrassing. It was like, man, I just want to have fun. I just want to be normal, you know. Um, I was like, man, I don't know if I'll ever be normal again. Um, I was just so stressed out. And uh, I just wasn't taking anxiety medication at that time. I didn't have seizure medication at that time. So I was just living life, you know, without medication for that. That's stuff that I need to have medication for. Um, but, um, yeah, it was, it, I had, I, I couldn't go, I couldn't go. I tried to go in there. I tried to go to the fair. I just couldn't do it. I mean, we, were, we got there, we drove there and uh, I, I walked into the fair and I was like, I can't do this, I can't do it. Um, but uh, the other thing that happened was uh, I was so stressed out and you know, all the stress and anxiety and you know, I feel like I'm gonna faint or I'm gonna have a seizure, you know? Um, I actually had to like drop out of high school. Um, because I was dealing with so much stress and anxiety. But yeah, like, um, I didn't like want to drop out of high school. It, you know, like, I actually didn't drop out of high school. I know I said it, but um, no, I didn't go to like the principal and said, hey, uh, I'm gonna drop out because uh, what I'm going through, I just stopped going. I, I didn't say anything about it to anybody. I just, did, I just stopped going. Um, because I was just so uh, stressed out. I was, I was dealing with social anxiety. I didn't want like for me to have a seizure or, you know, and have, have like an ambulance come to get me. And I just didn't want to be embarrassed. Um, so I just, uh, I, I just stopped going. Uh, I don't know how long it was. It, it could have been a few weeks. It could have been, I don't know how long it was. Um, I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, yeah, and then when I came back, uh, I still didn't have medication for it. I didn't have anxiety for it. 
Um, I think this might have happened uh, after I had a seizure. I actually did have a seizure there. Um, so I was outside uh, before class uh, with my friends. We were at the uh, student parking lot at my uh, high school. And uh, I was uh, playing around and just acting uh, ridiculous, funny. And I poured water over myself. And um, I guess um, I just kind of like, looked over at the uh, stadium as I was like at the gate. Like there was like a gate like in front of me. Like looking that way, I saw the gate. Like um, I kind I tried to hold on to the gate because like I knew I, I uh, kind of like zoned out and I knew oh no I'm going through a seizure I'm going to have a seizure. I held on to the gate and uh, uh, luckily I did set my uh, book bag like behind me. Ironically, um, it's crazy. Um, I uh, I fell backwards. I could have fell to the right. I could have fell to the left. I could have fell straight forward. You know I could have fell. Uh, I could have fell many ways, um, but ironically, <laughs> I fell right onto my book bag. Uh, my head hits the book bag, or my or my shoulders hit the book bag, um, like in that area behind my neck, my shoulders. I was sore, man. I was sore after that. Um, but luckily, <laughs> I didn't have like a head injury or a concussion or anything. It's kind of like God's way of protecting me. Um, you know, I never forgot about that. Uh, I'm thankful. Um, but I remember, like, I was unconscious. And then I remember, like, I, I um, during my unconscious state, I remember uh, Trent, my friend, he was like, hey, bro, are you, you playing around? Like, he, he thought I was joking. They, they all thought I was joking around because that's how ridiculous I was at high school. I was basically like a cartoon character just playing around and vlogging. And um, I was just acting ridiculous, pouring water on myself and... I don't know what I was doing, but, um, yeah, um, they thought I was joking, um, and then they started seeing, like, my eyes, like, you know, like, um, it was, then he realized, like, okay, we're gonna have to, like, call an ambulance or something, and they did, and an ambulance came and, uh, came for me, and I was like, no, I, I don't have insurance, I don't know, I don't know what I was saying, I was just kind of, like, out of it, I was just embarrassed, I was embarrassed, I was like, man, this is happening right in front of my friends, it's like, uh, but, um, that happened, and, uh, they put me into the ambulance, I was unconscious, um, I, I think I, I, I did, like, maybe I scraped my hand, I might, I might have, like, did something, um, I can't remember, um, I think that happened too. I, I like when I was like I was like um when I was having a seizure I was like maybe scraping myself or something. I don't know. Um but yeah, they, they the the uh ambulance I got into the ambulance and uh they, they asked me if I do drugs or anything. I told them no. Uh I think it was just a seizure or something. Um but I couldn't really talk to them. It was hard to talk to them cuz uh that just happened. Um but yeah, um I think they put fluids in me or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just like zoned out again and, um, probably passed out. Um, and then, uh, I arrived at the, uh, the hospital and they tell me that I'm dehydrated. Um, so they, uh, they put fluids in me. So it probably didn't happen when I was in the ambulance. They, they, maybe they did. Maybe they did, maybe they did put, um, fluids in me in, in the uh, ambulance. They were trying to keep me awake. Um, I think... I don't, I, yeah, I think they were trying to keep me awake. They were trying to, they were trying to talk to me. They were trying to talk to me and keep me awake. They didn't want me to be unconscious. Um, so I, I kept trying to talk to them, but I think I lost it. I kind of lost myself. Um, I don't remember. Uh, it's been a while. But yeah, um, they took me to the hospital, of course, obviously, right? Um, I arrived there, and uh, I'm, I'm just laying in that uh, yellow, like, on wheels as they carry me um, and then they they lift it you know when they first get me out and then uh, then they press like a button or something and then the thing like uh, with the wheels come down and then they're able to like just roll me into the the building um, but yeah they um, they see that they just assume that I'm dehydrated um, I asked them like when I was there I was like is it possible that like um, it was a seizure or you know 
you know, anything to do with COVID or something, you know? Um, they just tell me, like, like, I think one of them told me it was, a, it was that I passed out. Or, uh, and the other one told me I had, like, a seizure. Um, so, it, you know, not all these doctors know, like, you know, like, I don't know. It's weird, like, like, these doctors get, like, you know, they go to school for all this stuff, and they should, like, I guess, I don't know, I, I guess it's weird. Um, but yeah, I had my friend Cameron text me, he's like, hey, bro, you good, bro? Like, uh, that was, that was scary, bro, um, seeing you like that. Um, but yeah, I was texting him, and, uh, it was just kind of, like, emotional. I was just like, oh, it's just, uh, it's embarrassing. Um, but, uh, like... It is what it is, right? Um, like, now? Like, no. That's not embarrassing. But back then, though, how I just, like, was like this, I was like... Back then, that's how I was. But now, like, no, no. It, it, it's, it's out of my control, you know? Um, like, yeah, it's embarrassing. It, it is embarrassing, but... You know, it's out of your control. Um, but yeah, that happened... And then my mom came and got me um, at the hospital. I called her. I think I texted her on the way or when I was there. I just texted her and told her where I was. and uh, Or the school called her or something, I think. Um, and, um, yeah. Um, whew. Um, so I think after that, I think I stopped going to high school. Like, I didn't quit or anything, but, like, I just... I quit. <laughs> I quit. Um, but I didn't. I didn't want to drop out. But they automatically like drop you out um, if you're not there for a certain amount of time. They just drop you out. So, um, so I think I was like, okay, I want to be with this girl. I was dating, you know, at the time, and I was like, okay, I don't want to be unsuccessful I worked so hard to get this far and it's not just about this girl it's about bro I went to I went to elementary school I went to middle school and then now I'm in high school I, I'm in my 11th grade year bro like I'm gonna graduate bro um, I worked this hard to get to this point and you know it's just like it's out of my control like my health it's like um, with these seizures and stuff, like, I just wasn't, I wasn't on medication, so, um, yeah, um, so I just stopped going, um, but, you know, and then I, everything I just said there, I thought about, like, my future, I was like, okay, I can't, I can't allow this, you know, my hard work for, to be for nothing, for me to drop out, like, it, it's not my choice, it's not that I want to, or, it's just, I was, I was stressed out, and I was embarrassed, and uh, I was having a hard time back then. Um, but, yeah, we actually do go back to high, I do go back to high school with my mom, and uh, we actually set up a meeting with the principal, and we tell him what's going on, and uh, he just didn't really care. It, like, he's like... We told him, like, what I was going through with seizures, uh, anxiety, and um, feeling like I was going to faint. I've been going to the hospital and different things. He just didn't really care. He didn't, like, it just felt like that because every response, he just, like, yeah, he kind of had, had to be in the room to understand. Um, but, yeah, it's just the way his tone of his voice, and uh, it, was, it was frustrating. Um, it just seemed like he didn't understand, and... It was just, it's, it's, I don't know, it was frustrating. Um, but, um, yeah, they were telling me that, like, if, like, you can come next semester and do 11th grade, like, there's no way you're going to be able to, like, graduate. I was like, yeah, I can graduate. I'm going to, I'm going to do this semester. I'll catch up. I'll, I'll catch up, you know? Um, so, yeah, um. So I'm back in school again, and uh, I just hang in there because I know, like, I'm dating this girl. I want to be successful, and not just not just for the girl, but for myself. I worked so hard to get this far. 
Um, so I knew that I had to push through it, you know, um, even though it's hard. Um, but uh, I'm someone who doesn't give up. I'm, if I'm passionate about something and, you know, I, I just, I just didn't want that you know, on me, like, I dropped out, or, you know, uh, that I can't get a job, uh, and, you know, um, so, I hang in there, and eventually, now, I get on medication for anxiety and seizures, so, yeah, I was actually good for a while, and then 2022 happened, bro, like, oh, um, I think this happened in April, like, just one month before I graduated, um, I don't know if it happened in April or not. I don't remember when it happened. I know it happened in 2022, like, like in the, like around April. I thought it was April. Um, basically, uh, actually, I might have not been on medication back then. Maybe I was on medication. I don't remember. Um, or it might have been 2021 when this happened. I thought it was 2022, though. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's 2022. Yeah, 2022. Um, yeah, I think it was April, um, 2022, it might have been, um, it was close to graduation time, I think it was, not that, not too close, but, like, maybe a month or two or so, something like that, basically, uh, I just felt dehydrated, and, uh, I, uh, I came outside, like, in the garage, and, uh, my girlfriend's mom and her dad were right there, uh, like, at the refrigerator, there's, like, a refrigerator in the garage right there. And uh, I just told him, like, I'm dehydrated. Um, I just don't feel right. Um, and then I, uh, I fall into a seizure. Yeah. Um, I was unconscious. And uh, I told him, I, told, I, I actually, before I fainted, I told him, I'm having a seizure. And uh, it was embarrassing. Um, yeah, and then they, they hear me, and then they're just, like, they don't want me to fall and hurt myself, because it's concrete, you know? Um, so, um, yeah, um, they actually uh, helped me out, and uh, they actually, I don't know how, but they, somehow they brought me outside. I don't know how they did it. I think I walked outside. I think I did. Uh, I held on to her mom, I think, or her dad, and they uh, walked me outside, and then I, I, I told them that, uh, that was that was weird. I was talking to them. I was like standing up. And I was talking to them. I was like, "That's weird. I don't I don't know how that happened." And then I told them, "I'm going back into it again." And then I like I got up, I got on the ground, and uh, she called it like you know uh, she actually called for Harold. Uh, that was um, Haley's uh, my girlfriend's. Uh, I think it was her. It was her family, of course. I don't I, I don't know. I think it's her her uncle or something. I think I don't know grandfather or something i don't know what it was grandpa or something i don't know um he came down and he was concerned um i think nanny b was down there too uh, that was her grandmother i think um my, my uh, girlfriend's grandmother um they were both down there they were just concerned I'm like okay we need to call an ambulance um when they came d down there and saw me outside so an ambulance came over to the house and uh came and got me and uh you know Haley and you know she was in the car with her with her mom and her dad and they're like they're like following the the ambulance you know to the hospital and uh like before that happened though like when I was on the ground like uh she was on the phone with the amp like with with the uh you know um uh ambulance team I guess you can call it uh she was like what do I do like they were t they were they were like they were telling Haley's mom what to do, and she uh, she was like, she told she told they they told her to like breathe like like um, in my mouth so that I can get oxygen. And I remember like her dad telling me that I looked like a purple alien, um, like I wasn't breathing, um, and it's terrifying. Um, your body just like stops breathing, um, so it, it's concerning. Um, but yeah, she uh, breathes, and uh, I, I like I. Um, I remember that. I actually remember her uh, doing that to me, and um, I told her that I'm sorry. I just kept on apologizing, and she said, "Don't, don't apologize." I think she was crying too. I think she was emotional, um, and uh, I was embarrassed. Um, but um, 
Yeah, they followed us, like the Amlets, me and the Amlets, uh, her dad, her mom, uh, Haley was in the car too, like, they're following us to the, the hospital, and uh, her mom, like, called my mom and told her what hospital we're going to, and uh, I think my mom, you know, she, she immediately headed out uh, to the hospital, I think it was in LaGrange, um, so... Uh, LaGrange, Georgia, so, um, as I was saying, uh, we arrive at the hospital, um, I remember I was in the, uh, you know, the, uh, patient, uh, I was a patient there, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm the patient, and, uh, I guess you can call it the patient room, um, I was just laying there, and they had, like, these little, um, I think they were just, like, hydrating me or something um yeah um i remember like Haley was in there she gave me like a hug um and her dad like took her back home and uh i remember like Haley's mom like and my mom they were just concerned they're like yeah they're just concerned um yeah um after that, uh, I actually did have another seizure, like not that year, of 2022. Um, I actually had a seizure this year, 2024. Uh, my mom, uh, like, surprised me and, uh, like, took me out, like, uh, for, like, a, a trip here where we live, like, just 20 minutes away from here. We stayed at a hotel, and uh, I, uh, I had a seizure. Um, I was uh, hugging her. I told her that, uh, like, I'm, I'm actually having a seizure right now. I was actually able to, like, talk to her as I was having the seizure. Um, it lasted, like, 15 minutes. But uh, I actually remember the whole entire conversation. You know, if I, if I, if I try to remember it, I, I can remember it. Um, I was just kind of, like, zoned out. I, like, I was just, I was like... I told her not to worry about calling the ambulance. I didn't want to go through all that. It was just embarrassing. I didn't want to go through that. Um, I, uh, I told her that, like, uh, you can grab me a Powerade or something um, at the snack machine over there. And uh, she said, well, will I be okay? You know, uh, I told her, yeah, I'll be okay for, for a second. So she goes to grab a Powerade, and uh, I drank it, and then um, we continue to talk as I'm um, in that state of having a seizure, like an active seizure. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, after that though, like I was good, I was good, but I was just like stressed out um, about it. I was nervous, it was just anxiety and stuff, like um, thinking about the ambulance coming and all that kind of stuff. Luckily we didn't have that. Um, yeah, I did, we did a prayer too, during it too. Um, I appreciated my mom being there for me, you know, um, I'm very thankful. Um, yeah, um, I think after that we just like left, uh, cause we were leaving that day anyways. Um, we had to check out anyways. Um, yeah, um, and then I was, uh, I was working at, uh, Great Wolf Lodge at that time too. I think I was off for the weekend or something. That, that, that's when we went. We went stayed at the hotel. And I think it was Sunday when that happened. Um, but yeah, like when I was working at Great Wolf Lodge, uh, like um, I actually got COVID like twice or so. Um, COVID was just spreading like crazy up there, um, so I actually got sick. Um, I got sick. I got COVID, bro. Um, so I stayed out of work for like a week, I think. Um, and then I came like the next week um, after I felt better. Um, it just took a few days for me to like, you know, all the symptoms and all that kind of stuff. Um, it could have been two weeks, actually. I don't know. I think it might have been a week, though. Um, yeah, they are just ready for me to come back to work. Um, they're like, they, they might have thought that I was trying to stay out of work or something. I don't know. But I was legitimately uh, sick. I had COVID. Um, yeah. Um, so, 
Yeah, like now, uh, that kind of leads us to now, like, you know, that was recent. Um, like that was like, not that recent, it was, it was this year, I guess that's what I was saying. It was this year, so it's recent, like, you know, 2024, it was recent. But like, time-wise, like, like month-wise, like, no, it was like, um, like, I left uh, Great Wolf Lodge uh, April this year, so it was from January to April, so it might have been uh, March, it might have been February, it might have been January. Um, so it was definitely within those three months, uh, because I left April, like April the 6th. Yeah, I even remember the date, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that, that was my last seizure that I had. Um, but uh, I also, I, I realized that, like, when I was going to work, like, um, when I was headed, you know, to work, I would, like, have these, uh, I guess you can call them, like, an active seizure. Like, they last, like, maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, I didn't realize that it was a seizure, but, uh, I, like, I talked to a doctor about it, and, yeah, he was like, yeah, yeah, you're having a, um, a short episode here in there. Um, I, I even remember, like, I went to the, uh, the office, uh, like, talking to my manager, like, when I first got there that day, too, um, one of those days, I don't know what day it was, but, um, I was just letting them know, like, hey, I'm here, um, uh, it was just when I first got there for that day, uh, to work, um, and, uh, I had, like, an active seizure that lasted, like, 20 seconds, but, uh, I tried to not, like, make it obvious or anything, I just kind of, like, uh, you know, stayed, you know, positive about it. I was like, okay. And then it kind of went away on its own. It lasted like 30 seconds, maybe. Um, yeah. Um, now, like, I'm doing good. Like, I'm taking my medication, my anxiety. Like, anxiety is good. I'm good. What's up? Um, yeah, so this has been my experience with COVID. Um, dealing with seizures, dealing with anxiety, um, it's, it's, it's been a stressful, um, time for me, um, with all these experiences and, like, I feel okay to talk about it and everything, like, why not? Um, I just want to make sure that I explain everything the best way as I can, um, if I'm going to do it, I want to do it the right way, um, and I feel like I've done that, um, so... I feel good about this video, um, and, uh, I'm not embarrassed, I'm not, like, I'm cool about it, I'm nice about it, like, like, I'm glad that I get to share my experience with you guys, and, um, yeah, um, at least I get a video out of it, you know, <laughs> um, I hate COVID, bro, it sucks, um, I wish it would go away, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I came, I came a long ways of feeling, like, disconnected from the world and stuff. Um, like, I feel more connected, more, but not, like, I'm not, I'm still not there yet. Like, my, my mind right now is, like, it's, like, numb. Like, the whole entire thing is, like, numb. Um, it could be a side effect due to my medication, uh, which is possible. It's totally possible. It could be that, um. It could be the side effect of me getting COVID and, you know, that was recent, you know, this year, um, you know, co I don't know how long this long-term stuff, I got like multiple times too, um, this year, um, you know, not too long ago, like a few months, like five, six months ago, um, long-term COVID can last a while, it can last a while, um, it's better just to wear a mask, um, save your mental health, you know have to wait all these months to have your mental health back you're not always guaranteed you're gonna get it back but um yeah it's 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 stressful but um uh um i'm just trying to live the life as i can you know um try not to worry about things and just even though i'm like this now like I'll never be the same. Maybe I will at some point. I don't know if I ever will be the same. 
like I was before, you know, December 2019. Um, even then I was normal, but it was like after like the vaccine and all that kind of stuff, especially with my medication, it might be some side effects. Maybe, maybe that's why I won't be normal again. Because without the medication, I won't, uh, I'll be, uh, sorry, I will, I will be having seizures, I will be having anxiety. Um, you'll have side effects not taking your medication as well, so, um, yeah, I guess in life, there's just sacrifices being made, you know, um, to avoid having this episode, having that episode, and, uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, I'm just gonna enjoy the life that I have now and just keep going and pushing and don't worry about it and don't overthink it and different things, you know? Um, I'm, I'm still happy with my life. I'm just going to enjoy it. You know, um, you only get one life. So I'm not gonna, uh, you know, um, hate my life or, you know, um, I'm going to make the best of it, you know? Um, have goals and have plans and I got a whole life ahead of me. I hope I do. Um, I'm just going to say that I do. Um, because that's what I want. You know, I want to have a long life. I hope I have a long life. Um, I do need to improve on my, my diet. I do need to work on going to the gym, uh, work on my room and different things. Um, but yeah, um, there you go. That's that's my experience with dealing with uh, long-term COVID and just COVID in general. Um, and uh, hope hope this video, um, you know, helped you out somehow. Um, you got some enjoyment from this video, and um, thank you for watching. If you guys aren't already subscribed, subscribe, like the video. And uh, comment down below what you guys thought about this video. If you guys have any other topics that you guys would like me to talk about, um, feel free to uh, subscribe. I, I guess comment down below for that um, and like the video. Um, you know, I'll try to come up with an idea if I need to. Um, I actually already have one um, that I would like to talk about too. I got two ones. Uh, I, was, I was wanting to talk about my experience working at Great Wolf Lodge. I wanted to talk about my experience working at HelloFresh. I already did make like a couple of videos couple of videos talking about HelloFresh working there um, I never really like talked about my experience working at Wolf Lodge I did I did like after like the day I actually did quit like I talked about it um, it was just yeah I'll make a video about it or something you know um, all right guys well uh, thank you once again for watching I love you guys to death and don't forget to keep it subscribed and I hope you guys enjoy this uh, new outro um, that's about to show up all right don't forget, keep subscribed and down those haters. I'll see you in the next video or vlog. Peace out. Hope you all enjoy the new outro for this uh, for for the uh, future of my vlogs and stuff. All right, peace out, guys. Bye.